Hi everyone, it's the Ticket to Christ. We're starting on a new series. We are uh, discussing the power of God. We are focusing in on that, just really anchoring in on that we serve a powerful God. We're looking at 2 Chronicles 20, verse 6. I, we could start from verse 5. It said that then Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O Lord, God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? And do you not rule over all kingdoms of the nations? And in your hands is there, is there not power and might so that no one is able to withstand you? Are you not our God who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend forever? And they dwell in it and have built you a sanctuary in it for your name saying, if disaster comes upon us, sword, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this temple and in your presence for your name is in this temple and cry out to you in our affliction and you will hear and save. And so, um, uh, beloved, a lot of times I think that people forget that we serve a powerful God. It, for some people, when you're going through a tough time, it could feel like God isn't big enough for your tough time. Like God can't handle it. God can't handle the level of emotions you're going through. That, that's how you, you know, some people re react or respond. They lose faith. Um, but we serve a father of power. He's a God who is invincible. You know, this scripture here is talking about that that God, if you if you zero in on verse uh, six, God is um, the father who rules over all the kingdoms of the nations. And you look around and it doesn't seem like they're submitting to God, but they're, nobody's getting away with anything. You know, for us, with our little 5, 10, 15, 20 years, 100 years, we think that's a long time. But you compare even the full number of years of humanity, 6,000 years, and compare that to eternity. It really is as nothing. And so a lot of times as life is playing out, we think, oh, God might not have seen that. God doesn't have that. No, God has everything set in order. And yes, we live in a fallen world where people do bad things. They do it because they have a fallen sin nature. And that is the, um, the way of sin. You live in a fallen world. It's the reason why um, as descendants of Adam and Eve, we live this type of a life here on the planet, surrounded by evil, surrounded by people with no conscience, people who will do scrupul unscrupulous things and harm other people. But God is able to deliver you from every negative situation, every trial, every tribulation, every type of pain, you know? So um, he is a father who will use whatever it is that sin nature life has um, encroached in on you uh, to make you, not to break you. So he's a father of power. You know, when you think about it, think about the Israelites. God knew that they would go into Egypt and he knew eventually that they would go into bondage because he told Abraham that. And you would think, well, if God knew they would go into Egypt and be in bondage there. Why did he allow it to happen? Well, because God wanted to build a nation, a special and unique people so that he could come on this earth and save mankind. Uh, it's a bigger picture beyond us, beyond our ability, beyond our limitations. And sometimes to get to the, the bigger goal, hard things can happen. But we saw that God brought them out with a powerful arm. You know, Moses came, I think it was 10 plagues, right? Until finally um, he made them an offer they could not refuse, right? because their children died and they came up powerfully. God parted the Red Sea, you know, led them through. Nothing could stand in their way. And similarly for you, 
Um, God will bring you through this. You know, look at verse 7 where he says, Are you not our God who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel? Right? And they dwell in it and have built you a sanctuary. So he's explaining um, what they were told, you know, that if they would, when disaster comes, sword, judgment, pestilence, famine, that they would go to the temple of God, right? And um, in stand before the presence of God and cry out to him and that God would hear them. That's what, you know, they understood. And similarly for us, we are the temples of God today if we are in Christ, right? And so we cry out. You can cry out from your position in your temple, which is your body, uh, which carries, um, you know, the Holy Spirit and cry out to God for that from that position whatever the affliction is whatever the challenges are that you're be, that you're facing and so this series that's what we're going to be focused in on anchoring yourself in understanding the power of the God that we serve i think a lot of times because God does not move in our timing um we're thinking God is slow you know why is God taking so long what's taking so long you know because we're also in this um, generation where we can get instant this and that. So if, you, if nothing happens quickly, we think God isn't moving. But God is moving. And a lot of times he's moving to change us, to change our hearts, change our character, bring us to a position of humility, get us to the end of ourselves so that we can, um, you know, fulfill the plan and purpose he intended for us. And really enjoy the life that he has designed us to enjoy. Um, throughout most of our lives, we, from you know birth, go, live collecting junk, collecting uh, bad ways of thinking, bad habits, wrong patterns, and wrong understanding. Um, har you know whatever the harm, whatever the mistake. With that comes uh, a wound, a trauma and a wrong uh, belief system uh, that we anchor ourselves on unknowingly. And some of these things are very difficult to unwedge, but God is a powerful and skillful surgeon. He's a father that is able to do and to go beyond anything that we could ever hope for, imagine any psychiatrist, any kind of a, a medication. God is able to bring deliverance and, and strength, you know, but it, if you submit yourself to him, come to the foot of the cross, come before Jesus, just like Mary of Bethany did, that she sat at the feet of Jesus and just really learned from the master. And that's what we have the opportunity to do today. Learn from the master. Understand the power of the God that we serve, that he is a powerful father, that he is wise. He is wise. He is just. He is, um, his timing is, um, you know, spectacular. He's, he's, he's always on, right on time. It might not be in our timing, but it's in the accurate and right timing for the best outcome. And so um, I think as, as we're um, understanding the power of God, uh, you know, focusing on understanding the power of God, that's going to help us understand um, God at a deeper level. And I think it will build your faith and your confidence as well through the word of God. Um, and I think it will inspire you and uh, just really strengthen you um, in your journey and in your walk. So hopefully you'll join me for the next six days as we look at the power of the powerful God, amazing father that we serve. Uh, God loves you so much. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. Take care.